Hello everybody, I'm Conquering History Games, and welcome back to part 9 of my Black Belt Republic campaign here in Hearts of Iron 4 uh, KX. So, I'm playing this one slightly crippled. Uh, I've got a, a patch over one eye, improvised patch, so I have no depth perception for playing this 2D game, which will add a layer of challenge to it and make it more interesting, I think. Um, now, where's our, our tank divisions over here? How did we lose one of the light tanks again? I kind of forgot. Uh, but whatever. We're just going to uh, keep doing what we've been doing and uh, make our way, keep making our way through the uh, the CSA's uh, forces, just encircling bit by bit. You know what? I'm actually not so sure this is the best place to push. Uh, I was thinking about coming here up to Frankfurt and around Louisville, but I actually think it might be a little bit of a better idea to keep coming out here, kind of in Missouri and Illinois, because... Let's see, there's forest here, but there's a fair amount of plains, but it looks like they're thickening up around here. Maybe I should go after this tank brigade. Hmm. Right here, these are hills, but... Hmm. Yeah, let's try it. Alright, let's come over here. And then, um... Yeah, bring you here, you hold there. Okay. We're just gonna have to see what we can do with all that. Um, oh yeah, maybe I should get better tanks. The Flipper. Named for General Henry Ossian Flipper, was a momentous effort for the Union States fledging armed forces. That's probably supposed to say um, Black Revolt. While not particularly agile or heavily armored, the M4 excelled in a variety of roles and has a new 3-inch main gun. And its new 3-inch main gun provided exceptional against both infantry and armor. Cool. Alright. Come on. Come on, attrition, go to work. This is going to be a nice little blow, I think, to them. Can we maybe push with these medium tanks? Yeah, we don't even need the others. We'll kind of get a little support here from this group. Yeah, the medium tanks are pushing. We are going to have to come and go after them. Actually, I wonder if I should actually do retreat out of here and then go around them and trap them in the mountains. Oh, did you guys see that lag? What was that about? Huh. The fall of Detroit. Okay. Blow to the syndicates for sure. Oh, yeah, they're losing a lot of Michigan. This is good. This is, this is very good. Um, a lot of lend lease just got cancelled, which is uh, not so good. Oh, hold on. Alright, here's our chance. Now, we're going to have to go a little bit out of the way. we got to be sort of careful here. Um, okay, let's try to come over here and make sure my tanks keep up. Come on. Finish off these Nashville fucks. Excuse my language. Um, the org is going down on these tanks. That's that's good. Are we piercing them? Nice. Oh wait, no. This is a uh, no, no, no. Never mind. Uh, the tank division. We cannot pierce them right now. Not with the anti-air equipment that we have. I don't know if we just don't have enough. Or if I'm going to need to... Oh, it's because these aren't divisions that have the anti-air equipment. Hold on. Let's trade those over. Okay. Yeah. Resume. We're going into Christmas 1940 now. Oh, four years after... Da, 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 da. No, no. No, never mind. All right, don't be tempted to go to Huntington. The land doesn't matter. The encirclements are what matters. All right. You know, the, the lack of depth perception actually is screwing with me a little. Okay, the cipher for the Pacific States is done. That's cool. Uh, we're still trying to weed out the clan. Come on. What more is there to do? Ridiculous. Um, I don't think we care about the Navy, although it probably wouldn't hurt to grab one, the designer. 
We just don't have the population pool to have that much of a navy, I think. It's just what it comes down to. I should come here, then here. Okay, gotta keep an eye out on this, guys, so that they don't come right here and try to... Uh, are these retreating? Oh, that's, those are my divisions retreating. Oh, goodness. That's not good. Come on! Attrition's only at 2%. How much supply are they actually getting from Nashville? Damn. Mm, there we go. Now we're starting to work on them. They've got the initiative. Well, that's not helping things. Okay, now then, uh, we're keeping an eye on all this, we're pushing here, we're pushing there, and there. I think we're gonna get it. Good, the infantry's coming in to fill these areas up. Good, good. Hopefully that's not resistance on our end that I just saw there. Hopefully that's something we're doing to them. Because this is a cook. I think Virginia is a core area of mine now. So, uh. Let's push right here. Come on. Shouldn't be this freaking hard. Okay, Nashville's crumbling. We'll take a look at the casualty difference here in a second. <sighs> Turkestan's capitulated. Not my problem. Oh, thank you, Russia. Yes. Russia, best of friends. Finest of allies. Hmm. Got it. Got the encirclement. Nice. Okay. Now, we just need to break up their attempts at uh, leaving... Okay, good, 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 good. The Argentinian divisions are here. Need to uh, hit them with one of the young divisions. Yeah. Okay, are we piercing them now? This division can pierce. We're piercing with the light tanks. We're piercing with the... Okay, good, 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 good. There we go. Their org is almost totally gone now. <clears throat> we need to we need to redraw this front line though. This looks very bad. Um, yeah, it needs to be back here. Better, a little better. I still don't know what we're gonna do about the convoys though. It's a, it's a real problem. I think the only thing that's left for me in my tree to research is uh, the navy thing. Oh yeah, we got all this Buffalo Soldier stuff. I guess let's do that. Okay. Hmm. We're gonna go in with our tanks before we try more encirclements. Damn, the Canadians are tearing through the Ohio Valley. That's good. That's really good. Hmm. Now, how far is the CSA from capitulating? Pretty close, actually. Chicago might kill them once they lose that. Over three million casualties, a million of which have been inflicted by me. It's a nasty one. It's about 3 to 1 ratio. It's not as good as it was before, actually. Yeah, geez. And how much do they still have? They're on... They're on all adult serve. Yeah, we're just... There's not gonna be much left in the Midwest. Like in this whole area here. Or Midwest, I guess you call this the... Kind of the Great Lakes Steel Belt region of the U.S. It's going to be an empty country, or an empty section of the country. I'll give them credit. They fought hard. They're still fending off barely the Combined Syndicates. I don't know what Haywood's giving his troops, but it must be some Popeye spinach that they've held out this long.
Here we go. And more overruns. Yep. What's it looking like now? It was this NOI base destroyed. As part of our attempts to disarm political extremists in our region, a department agency in charge of enforcing the Firearms and Extremist Act called the Bureau of Domestic Peace came into a confrontation with a Nation of Islam cell in North Florida. The Nation of Islam group refused to surrender and instead fired upon the officers, resulting in a shootout that left 16 dead. Elijah Muhammad has denounced the attack and called on other Nation of Islam cells to prepare for attacks. Privately, however, he claims he would be willing to help calm them if we stop interfering with their recruitment attempts, leaving the cabinet split on whether to accept or not. Um, no. Refuse the deal. Uh, oh no, we're going to lose 1% stability when we got like a billion. Thurgood Marshall's making the most stable nation ever. Who'd ever thought these potent these kind of numbers were possible in a Kaiser Wright game? That's good. I like to see that they're all regulars. Uh, okay, let's check those logistics. Artillery we're short on. Medium tanks we're doing okay. We just plain old don't have enough of all the things we need. Hmm. We're gonna have to build up more of a. Yeah, we just need more military factories, plain and simple. All right, where do we want to push next? We could try to go through the forest here and maybe link up with. Uh, yeah, you know what? That'll be for the best. Let's try to link up with the Canadian front right here, pushing towards Cincinnati, and then all of the all the divisions here will uh, will starve. It'll take out a nice chunk of what's left of uh, left of their army. 129 divisions. Damn. I know it's all just cheap militia, but so much. Come on, let's go, let's go. Hustle, 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 people, hustle. Norway's helping me out. And let's also not forget the uh, the third international has betrayed um, has betrayed the CSA. They're helping me fight them. Of course, it's because the third international, or or, or at least. Mr. You know who up here is a totalist, so that's why he's turning on them. There, there go the Canadians though invading. Mm. All right, let's try to push through here. I've not been using as much command power as I probably should have been throughout this series, uh, especially because I had such a high cap. I got a. I don't know what nation I'm going to do it with, but I, I need to kind of re retrain myself to be good at Hearts of Iron 4 again. Because, uh, you know, I, I took so much of 2020 off. I'm talking about the war aspect of it. Because I took, I took so much of 2020 off from it, and then when I came back, I was mostly playing The New Order, which, let's face it, is not a video game. It's a, it's a visual novel that occasionally war arrows go burr in. Uh, so I... So I need to retrain myself to be good maybe i'll do i've been wanting to do for a while a french national state campaign not gonna do napoleon because it's just gonna turn into a horrible grind and i'm gonna hate myself um and it and it won't be entertaining when i'm just trying to grind his level up uh but it's it's kind of a like a relatively weak nation considering the, the enemies it has to fight you know, just do something like that where i have to i have to be good at like you know, the army stuff, you know, maybe do Ukraine and try to help kill Russia, things like that. Get back, get back to the roots. Or, or do something else, do some equestria at war, pick a minor nation or whatever. Alright, can we, can we maybe counterattack over the river? Is that a bad idea? Actually, no, this might be the better place to attack. Stop them from coming through. And, uh, yeah. We're going to try to get over the Ohio River and meet up with the uh, Canadians. I think it's very telling that uh, we're apparently still not able to fight these guys. Or it says we'll still lose against these guys. It's just that lack of logistics. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Actually, no, come here and... Yeah. Pin that, keep them pinned. Let's go to five speed real quick. Oh, nice. We made it. Cool. Now they're all going to die. Uh, so do we want to help kill them? 
Mmm. Yes. Yes, we do. Go! Very nice. Another force attack. Yeah, we'll start chopping these guys up in no time, I think. These divisions are kind of funky looking right now. There we go. Yeah, because they're on just these different borders. What the heck? Oh! We have an extra division because uh, I had been training those other guys. Yeah, I think they were, they had been queued up. Uh, hold on. Reassign them here as they come out. Great. Alright, Tuskegee Airmen time! Get some fighters. Long may they live. What is this? Why did we... Oh, we spawned a couple of cavalry units, I guess, when we did the Buffalo Soldiers. That's cool. Uh, they're not great. Let's just put them out there in the west. Whatever fills the front lines, yeah? Hmm. Still, or got those insufficient resources. We're gonna run out of tanks soon. Or not run out of tanks, but like we're not we're not actively replacing them anymore at a faster rate than we're expending them, which is obviously a serious problem. Nothing like fighting in the Appalachians. Come on, push through. You know, let's just go to five speed. Gotta speed things up here. There goes Syria. Chicago is about to fall. That'll be the end of things. So I'm just kind of pushing here with the tanks, mostly to capture infantry or capture equipment, uh, because they do have that, right? They better have had that this whole time. Where'd they go? Here we go. The Jackie Division. Yeah, I got the maintenance companies. Helps with that equipment capture ratio, even if it's mostly just infantry equipment. Attrition is only 1%. They probably have some sort of modifier that's making it so that the attrition's not so bad. You know, I don't know if it's supply grace or the negative effect is being nerfed a little bit, but it's sure getting annoying, I'll tell you that much. Hmm. We've actually got the red arrows, are you kidding me? With these tanks. Oh, I'm the one suffering. I've got 40% attrition while the freaking... Militia men that are trapped in the Appalachians only have 13. That's gross and disgusting, and I hate it. All right, the fall of Chicago. All right, now I'm sure that Canada isn't going to try to press any claims here on the CSA. I've never seen them absorb them. They usually just do it to kill the CSA. Um, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to give some of this to... Gosh, we actually had ton of points. I didn't have to keep doing this so much. Let's go ahead and give some of this stuff to the Pacific States, even though they didn't push this far east. No matter what I do, y'all complain about it anyway, so whatever. And, um, the rest is mine. Because I said so. And if Canada doesn't like it, they can invade me. Alright, were we able to get enough equipment to recoup our losses? No. Not in terms of support equipment and stuff. Yeah, they were just cranking out over and over again. Oh, wow, yep, yep. Pacific States did not wait. They're just going for me. It's kind of... Okay, we gotta do this. Wow, just, just instantly they declared on me. <laughs> okay, okay. We can figure this out. Remember, they're at war with Mexico, too, so that's an issue they're gonna have to deal with. And we got some resistance to occupation out here. Let's get our... Um, Get our operators working on that. Uh, operators. Okay, let's get you here. You're building that Intel network in California. You need to root out resistance in New York City. It's a big old battle. Double down it's true. But beginnings are contagious there. They're always sitting stages there. If 
Wait, what's going on? Okay, Bolivia can't actually seem to help me. Fine, let's trade with Burma. Or Myanmar, depending on who you ask. We're not going to get into that right now. This is not a Burma slash Myanmar campaign. Okay. Alright, get in position, get in position, get in position. And you, uh, what should we try to take back first? Should we move along Texas so we can link up with the, the United Mexican States and take more of their shit? Uh, you know what? Tanks in the Great Plains. What could go wrong, right? It's ideal, isn't it? Um, just having any effects. We're still dealing with the clan. Um, okay, what else are we short on besides the artillery? We're short on support equipment and big time short on the uh, light tanks. Let's do that. Gosh, we need so much steel. There we go. Did I do my count right? Yes. Okay. Uh, still need more military factories. We could try to actually make an air force now, which might not be the worst idea in the world. Uh-huh. Why am I trading with the commune? Actually, I'm fine with trading with the commune. We want them to succeed now. Uh, they've actually got a little bit of rubber. That's interesting. Okay, what other government modifications do we want to do? Uh, we can increase our service requirements, go up to all adult serve, which will, uh, you know, tap into quite a huge section of the population. Um, but for right now, let's, uh, hmm, most of the way towards becoming an organizer... Okay, let's, um, yeah, just make sure everybody's rapidly redeploying. I don't like this color on him. Could be a little better there. Well, now, we don't want, like, a red red, like a communist red. We want, like, a burnt, like that. Try, trying to get it to sort of match the color of our nation a little bit. That's not quite it, but whatever. Alright, bunch of lend just got cancelled. Alright, get in position. We might lose land. That's okay. Not a huge deal. Um, okay, the Italys are at war now. Oh, that's right. In Kaiser Redu, the uh, Italy is reverted. It's just, there's just the two of them, I think? Or, or wait, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they did. They reverted it. But the Venice is also a thing. I don't know, I haven't played in the Italian area in ages. Although that was one of my favorite campaigns in, um, I think it was 2019, or was it 2018? But the my Italian Republic campaign, where I did Democratic Italy. That was a fun war. Okay. Let's go. Alright, looks like my divisions are sort of in position. Oh, shoot, I think there's nobody in the north. You know what? Everybody attack, then. If, uh... Whatever land we can rush, let's let's do that. Oh, especially if we could take St. Louis. Wait, what the heck? The Argentinians were about to send me volunteers, but I didn't get there in time. And they left. <laughs> you know, yeah, we're we're just gonna we're just gonna push as long as uh as long as we can. Um, let's actually not even use our tanks just yet. Hold on. Pause. All right, Brazil's gonna send me help. Thank you. We have yet more military factories available to us. I guess let's start making some more armored cars because we're going to have to deal with uh, this resistance to occupation issue we've got. Um, in fact, what are we using? We're using Cavalry Division 2. Um, so this is this is our thing. Um, let's do something like that. There we go. Now that's a respectable military division, and let's purchase some convoys as well. Alright. Wow, how stretched is the Pacific States? They've only got 29 divisions! Oh yeah, we're just gonna run all the way to California now. We don't even need our tanks. Alright. More industry? No. No, 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 actually. <laughs> uh, but better tanks, at least. Um, and I think we can go ahead and modify these. 
modify the flipper, get the gun up, spike the reliability first, actually. Do something like that. Yeah. I approve. Wait, no. Oh, that's the rubber. Yeah, I can't get more from them. Uh, but I can give them a factory. Nice, nice. How is the commune doing? <sighs> They're kind of uh, just holding. And the Socialist Republic of Italy is winning, I guess, in uh, down there. So that would be nice. Then uh, afterwards they could join with France. Yeah, this, this front line has been frozen. It looks like the Union of Britain is fending off Canada, which is excellent for us. Um, okay, what are we still short on? Light tanks, it's going to take two months. Uh, support equipment is going to take 23 days. Close air support, about a month. Okay, so there's nothing we're desperately short on. Um, but having said that, I am using a lot more support equipment than usual. So let's put five more factories in there. Um, I think I might... No, uh, let's increase the, make the field hospitals better. Yeah, every man needs to count. But we're way behind on the engineers and the reconnaissance and stuff. Uh, I've just been working on too many other things. All right, so we need to think about what our next move is going to be. Oh, Germany wants to help us. <laughs> sure thing, suckers. Uh, we need to think about, are we going to go after Canada, or are we going to go after... Meaning, we're going to have to go after Canada, because I want to get New England. Um, and, and, and we're like... Although, maybe we don't need New England. Oh, no, I'm pretty sure we're going to need New England. Uh, but basically, I still have a few different enemies to fight. We're going to give Mexico some stuff, because uh, I don't think this war is going to be as easy it's, as, as we can see that it is being without them. Uh, oh, actually, aren't we already at war with Mexico, I just remembered? Yeah, we are actually okay. So we're gonna have to deal with Mexico. Once we're done with Mexico, then then the the actually then the question becomes: Are we gonna fight um, for New England or for Texas first? Because either way, it's gonna put us into a, a fight with one of the major powers of the world. And I think either way, we're gonna need some sort of garrison troops to cover our front line. Uh, so how about we duplicate this? Let's call this. Um, Coast Guard, in the literal sense, they'll be guarding the coast. Um, I think if we just put maybe, you know what? I think that's a little too expensive. Let's let's never mind. Uh, let's let's go with um, with like so. Here we go. Home defense, something like that, and uh, let's delete some of these. Don't need so many of these. A lot of them are duplicates anyway. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll create a home defense force to guard the coastline. And I think maybe just these and some cav will be plenty. I mean, not cav, some uh, some engineers will be plenty to, uh, to fend off any invasions that come. In fact, I might make them a little smaller. What's going on? We got some lag. Who's, who's, who's collapsing? What's happening? Oh, no something big. All right, what's going on? It's not the Union of Britain, it's not France, it's not Germany. None of them were looking like they were collapsing. I think Russia was just fighting some small war. Austria intervenes in the second Weltkrieg. It wouldn't be a Weltkrieg without them. Hmm. That could potentially turn the tide, which is making me want to lean towards uh, defeating Germany. <laughs> on the other hand, the Entente still seems strong enough to do these invasions. We want the Third International to win, though now because we we have no conflict with them at all anymore nobody nobody we're gonna fight is gonna join with them well mexico could potentially join them but i think i think if that was an option for them to do they would have already so it's probably not uh anyway let me yeah home defense let's make this a little smaller and just put a shovel in there that probably would be more than enough hmm and we're going to try to you know, fill the whole coastline with those. Austria is declaring war. Is that really worth the super event? I guess. Because otherwise they just sit on their butts in the Balkans the whole game. So I guess that's worth being a thing. Now how strong is the United Mexican States? They have 58 divisions maybe. I've got almost as many and I'm sure that mine are higher quality. Uh, 
think we can wait on that until we uh can speed it up. Getting some little red bubbles, nothing too serious, just just bits. Now, how long is it going to take for me to go to war with either of them when I choose to? 135 days. This is also 150 days. Well, I don't think I can fend it off any longer. It's time to go to all adult serve. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, and mass navy. Okay. Yeah, now we're dealing with Mexico. This is a problem. I think I hope our mobilizations can keep up the pace. Let's see, we've lost 48,000 troops. And we've killed 244 with the Pacific States. What? That Okay, I think there must be... Hmm. I guess because it's showing us as war with all three of these, even though these guys aren't allies, it's calculating it that that's how many I've killed. But I'm sure Mexico has killed more than them. Hmm. Come on, keep moving forward. Alright, well that's going to be it for today. So in the next episode, we're going to defeat the Pacific States and also go after the Mexican States. I don't know if we want to annex them. Probably not. We might just make a little puppet Mexico or something. Uh, and then after that is going to be the really difficult decision of do I attack the Entente or the Germans first? It... Germany's getting Austrian help now. This bad civil war just won't end, will it? Wasn't Kingdom of Spain almost at Burgos earlier, or did I imagine that? I think right now I'm leaning taking on Germany, because then I could um, just absorb Texas relatively easily, unless they get reinforcements, uh, which I doubt they'll be able to. They're, they're, you know, their allies will be busy with other things. And then we just guard the coast, because I've said it before, I said it early on in the series, I'm not going to build a navy and go to invade Berlin and all that crap just to secure Texas. It's just like with my China games, where I'm not going to capitulate Canada just so I can secure the legation cities. I'm just going to drop down my Coast Guard, be able to fend off any naval invasions. It's going to be pretty obvious that they can't ever take it back, and then we're going to call that a win. But then I could just guard the coast, and then Canada... Canada would be a pretty big deal, uh, finishing it off there. Also, I need to remember, I'm going to have to go all the way down to Central America. So, I'm talking about things that probably won't even happen next episode, maybe not even the next two episodes. But I'm Conquering History Games, and I'll see you next time.